Hey everybody. I've been getting quite a few questions about how I made my digital notebooks that I provided to my email subscribers yesterday. So I thought I'd give you a quick instructional video. You can use this for lots of different resources, not just mine, but mine happened to be pretty handy to import directly from TPT into Google Slides to make a notebook like this one. If you are not already an email subscriber of mine, you can go to my website, which is suburbanscience.com, and become an email subscriber, and then you will have access to the Science Stacks, which is my set of free resources, and that'll include links to these three notebooks. So I have a biology notebook here, which has some notes and graphic organizers in it, and an anatomy notebook template and an environmental science notebook template. So these are just three quick resources to help you get started. I know it's really overwhelming to start making virtual resources and um, this is a, a crazy time. So I thought that I'd try to help you get started so that you could figure out that it's relatively easy to work on something like a digital notebook. So, back at my biology notebook, you can see that I've changed the cover here. I've added some tabs on the side, and I just wanted to show you how I did that. So, inside my slides here in Google Slides, I have, first of all, changed the format of the slide so that it doesn't look like a presentation anymore. It looks like a sheet of paper. So, I went to File page setup to do that, choose custom size, and then eight and a half by 11. And that makes your actual presentation slide eight and a half inches by 11, which is really handy for printing out the slides if you're working in a hybrid classroom, or if you have students that would prefer to have print resources or you'd prefer to have print. So this is a background that I've added. So I went to background, choose image, and then I chose an image that I purchased from Hydesys Clipart, H-I-D-E-S-Y, uh, on TPT, but there are lots of different images that you could insert there that would give you this notebook feel. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a shape, and that's going to be used to change the color of my notebook cover here. So I will change the color. And then you can also add text in here to make this a biology notebook. Make this larger and centered. And then we're also going to add some tabs here. So I went to shapes, and then I'm adding this tab like shape with some text that I'm going to insert on top of it. So I'm gonna make this say cellular respiration. And we're gonna turn that sideways and make that just like a tab you would have on an actual interactive notebook. And we're gonna link that like a table of contents in a second. I'll show you how to do that. So obviously you can decorate the front of this notebook or have students decorate it with clip art, images, whatever they'd like to include on there. So I'm going to duplicate this slide so that I have this background again. And then I'm going to actually in here import some slides. So I'm going to go to File, Import Slides, and these are going to become the pages of my notebook. So this is where TPT comes into play here. So we go to my TPT store, you'll see the digital biology notes bundle and that happens to be on sale just for today. Um, and you can actually purchase that by putting it in your cart and choosing to purchase that. And once you have, you can go to my purchases and click add to Google Drive. So this, these are the TPT instructions which are in the um, help section of TPT because this is a made for Google Drive resource which means that it will download or copy sorry the resource itself directly from my Google Drive to your Google Drive 
And that makes it so super easy to use for a virtual classroom. So this is what this is what it's going to look like when you bring in those files from TPT to your Google Drive. These are all of the biology resources that I have. I'm going to choose photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So here's a PowerPoint that I've provided. These are some teacher instructions. And then these are the answer keys and the actual student notebook pages. So we're going to go back to our notebook and we're gonna look to import those. So we'll go to import slides. And I've already searched here for photo because the file is called photo and resp Cornell notes. So I'm gonna pull that up, double click on it, and then just import the pages that I'd like to. So these have guided notes as well as free response notes. So I'm gonna pull in the guided notes because maybe I have students that aren't quite as good at note taking yet. And I'm gonna pull in the graphic organizers as well. So just selecting those slides that you'd like to use. Click on import. And then all those slides are gonna come into your notebook as pages. So then you can go here and students can type in the type bo the text boxes that are already provided. They're already in there from my Google Drive resources. So I've already put all those text boxes in for you. This graphic organizer has text that you can drag and drop and that is already provided in there as long as you are importing the slides from Google Drive. So super easy. And then these can be filled out using the PowerPoint that was also included in that Google Drive resource. So I'm going to add a new slide here and I'm gonna type in here, use the PowerPoint above to complete the following note pages. So now I need to link the PowerPoint in here. I happen to have an image of the first PowerPoint slide. So I'm going to insert that image. You can use whatever image you want though. And then we're going to simply link that to the Google Drive. So if I go back to the Google Drive resource that you downloaded from TPT, I'm going to choose this PowerPoint, right click, get a shareable link here, and then copy the link, go back to the notebook, and then I'm gonna click on that image and link by pasting in here and hitting apply. And then students can actually go to that resource, that PowerPoint, view the PowerPoint, and then while they're viewing the PowerPoint, complete these note pages that are in the notebook. And then for these tabs, all you have to do is highlight the text that's here and then click link. And then you can set that to link to a specific point in the presentation. So respiration starts here on slide six. So I'm gonna choose slides in this presentation, slide six, apply. And then students can actually click right on that link and go to that section in the notebook, which will help to keep them organized, I think. So super easy to use. And again, I have environmental science that I've started for you and anatomy in addition to the biology. So I really hope that's helpful to you. If you have any questions about using Google Drive resources from TPT or how to make a digital notebook, I'll be glad to try to help you. Obviously, I am, like I said, not the only resource that you can use to create these, but I just wanted to show you how to use things from my TPT store in order to do that um, relatively easily. So um, I hope that's helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll see you soon.